Hello guys and welcome to my weekly melting basket and empties. I did really good at getting through my basket this week so I'm really proud of that. Like, I only have one carryover and it only has two pieces which I could have used up but like my main living space has four warmers and two pieces of wax just weren't going to cut it. So into the empties I have melted quite a few auntie hands from Black Magic Melt which is a really good pretzel scent. Can't get that anymore though because it's part of our collab as well as this crisp scent which was a mint scent. Don't want to talk too much about them since you can no longer get them. This was a custom I did with L3 and oh my god was she good. This is what it was. It was orange chiffon cake, salted caramel, and zucchini bread. This was a delicious, sweet, decadent, gooey orange bakery. Loved it. I want to recreate it. It was just so good. I finished another one of my customs, which is candy cane, peppermint, and vanilla cookies. This was just a very strong, nose-clearing peppermint with a hint of sweetness. Very, very, very good. I have a couple of cups from Fantasy Wax, which I do have a code with them. You can use Hannah 10 to save 10% off. We did, um, definitely missing. Oh, here it is. It's like, I know I melted two of those. I melted two of the Burrow, which is strawberry bread. Love it. It's one of my favorite strawberry scent notes. We have Shy Guy, which is fresh picked strawberries. Honestly, I melted this in my office and then I wasn't in there for a while, so I can't really tell you a ton about that. And then, oh my god, Danny Tanner. This was Gain Island Fresh Type, and I'll preface this saying with I am not a laundry scent girly, like so far to the fact that I use unscented laundry detergent because I just do not like laundry scents. But like it's fine for the bathroom. This lasts days. I cut this into fourths, it's in the bathroom, it's been going for over 24 hours, and it is still strong. That's intense. We melted sea salt caramel and coffee bean from L3. I finished this loaf. It was really good. Loved it. Sweet, delicious coffee. We put it in and then we went grocery shopping and we came home, opened the door, and I was like, oh my god, it smells so good in here. It literally smells like a coffee shop. Pieces of Reese, which was rich vanilla cupcakes with peanut butter frosting topped with blackberry jam. This just like smelled like wax. I don't know how to describe it other than it just smelt like wax was not a fan this was sugar cookie dough strawberry bread cookie therapy I don't remember this one I melted it in the living room and I remember when I was putting it in the pieces smelled very like almost like it had like an alcohol note to it but then that didn't turn that didn't like show on um warm but I don't really remember it either so it was forgettable strawberry mocha cookies from L3. This is strawberry pound cake, vanilla hazelnut mocha, and royal sugar cookie. This was pretty much just strawberry pound cake to me. And guys, I forgot how much I love strawberry pound cake. Like what? This was so good. Loved it. Now I want to like go purchase a bunch of strawberry shortcake stuff. Peppermint marshmallow birthday cake. Literally upon me opening this bag and putting a piece in the warmer without even turning the warmer on because like, is that chocolate? Because it had such a chocolatey scent. I don't know if it's a peppermint chocolate birthday cake or what, but Chris hated that. VHS tape zucchini bread. This was phenomenal. Just so bready, and then it has like the vanilla bean Noel to add like some sweetness, but with the bread and the pretzels and then adding the zucchini bread, it was just amazing. Banana bread carbs from Rose Girls. This is one of my god tiers, one of my favorites since fall time. The best hands down banana scent that has ever lived. Peppermint steel sugar, melted this in the bathroom. It was a very nice, like, cologne peppermint scent. I'm actually running dangerously low on bathroom scents. I, like, am considering just going on, like, L3 and just ordering some. I'm sure there are some. And I finished this loaf from VCS and goodbye and good night, bang. This smell almost like nothing. At the end of it, I had, like, a really big piece. I just cut it poorly and I put it in a warmer. And the piece that was, like, probably two ounces, I could smell. But otherwise, every other size below like two ounces literally smell like absolutely nothing. But that could also be user error. I think this is an older and it does not have the four days. So maybe, maybe not. Moving in to our basket. This is my carryover, the two pieces of Golem from Sassy Girl Aroma. So we will finish her up this week. Um, let's see, we got a bunch of scent shot cups, so I guess we can start there. And they're all actually different this time. We have got 
cotton headed ninny muggins which is sweet coconut and vanilla frosting very nice coconut scent enjoy that we have goofy which is cookies and cream it smells so good i'm getting kind of a maple note from it which is so odd but regardless it's super duper strong we have shrieking shack which is pie crust y'all know i love pie crust just by itself Daisy Duck, which is churros. Super good. Cinnamon sugar bakery scent. We have got Mama Odie, which is sweet potato brown sugar. Ooh, this one smells like Thanksgiving. I don't know if you can see the glitters on this one. are so pretty. We've got Michelle Tanner, which is chocolate chip cookies. This literally smells like a chocolate chip cookie. I'm going to have to melt this both both halves in my office during the day while chris is streaming because it's very chocolatey and then dj tanner cat rice crispy treats and cotton candy frosting very sweet very cotton candy i'll probably melt this when i do this in my office i'll probably do this in chris's office because that's more of a him scent than a moi scent this sample from the pharmacist's daughter and caramel macchiato cookies this is phenomenal. I would love full size of that. We have got pretzel jelly donuts and lemon meringue pie from L3. Ooh, it's got <laughs> some kind of note to it that I don't like. I'm unsure about her. I will give it a try. I'll melt it one time throughout the house, and if I don't like it, I'll give the other half to my sister. I have like a box that I have like a medium size flat rate i need to grab a large one when i go to the post office also from l3 we have banana strawberry jam vanilla wafer super good super fruity and yummy also from the pharmacist's daughter we have bushel in the pack frosted vanilla raspberries glazed donuts vanilla butter fudge and funnel cake smells so good as well i really like this the raspberry is not um floral it's very fruity this fruity bakery the pharmacist's daughter i have very good performance from we are melting hogsmeade from fantasy i melted the same like bun a couple of weeks ago and it's just french baguette and it was just so good and it's still so good just like a delicious crusty bread like you can smell the crust and I'm weird, and like Italian bread to crust is my favorite part. We have I can't, or just can't adult from Birdie's Making Sense, which is orange caramel cupcake and cafe cubano. It's so cute. It's like a little, yeah, it's a nice orange coffee scent. Super good. Oh, we have another burrow that was down here from Fantasy Wax. Again, so good. Strawberry bread. Melted a couple this week. It's just fantastic. We've got, my friend Madison sent me this from her L3 Custom, which is strawberry pound cake, ice cream scoop bread, and sugared shortbread. This one was so good, I remember distinctly. Oh, it's just so good. I'm excited to have another strawberry pound cake this week since I'm like rediscovering my love for it. We have this souffle here. I have so much to cut. Literally, like every single thing needs to be cut. We have a souffle here from Birdie's Making Sense and Never Stop Dreaming, which is pretzel, pumpkin pecan waffle, and zucchini bread. So good. Really pretzel forward. Mmm. That's gonna be a banger. Oh, we have another anti hands already gone over that like 27 times in the past like two weeks so i'm not gonna go over it again then we have two bathroom scents we've got moon child which is marshmallow vanilla dark chocolate and florals from black magic melts it just smells kind of like a clean perfume to me then also for the bathroom we have ice princess which is pink sugar and sweet peppermint from l3 Oh, the peppermint's very strong. <laughs> There's that hint of pink sugar that'll be nice for the bathroom. And then I have two loaves from DCS that I'm going to be working on. Hopefully they go better than the last ones. 
We've got the Abominable Snowman of Pasadena, which is peppermint cream, sweet peppermint, icy peppermint, and creme de menthe. Yep, she's a minty girl. I did gift some of this to a friend, but we're gonna melt her, and it'll be nice and soothing. And then I have ja Johnny and June, which is jelly donuts, sweet bakery dough, and buttercream sugar cookie. Very nice. It smells really good. It's very jelly donut forward. I love jelly donut. So, yeah, that'll be also delicious. Usually, I put all of my things I don't have to cut back in my basket, but it's so few things, and I'm literally going to put everything that I need to chop. Do any of you guys like cutting wax? I absolutely loathe it. I hate it. I hate it so much. And I have so much to go cut. So wish me, guys. But that is it for this cooking basket. If you guys liked this video, then give her a big thumbs up if you did not then well give it a thumbs down because either way you are helping out my channel comment down below subscribe if you have not already and i'll see you in the next one bye guys